the holy apostle Philip, bound with his head to a pillar and stoned at Hierapolis in Phrygia, A.D. 54. Philip, a native of Bethsaida in Galilee, had a wife and daughters, a very honorable life. John 1, 44, 12, 21. He was found of Christ and called as his disciple to follow him, which he did so faithfully that when he found Nathanael, he brought him to Christ, declaring to him that he had found him of whom Moses and the prophets had written, namely, Jesus of Nazareth, the true Messiah, John 1, 45. From that time on, Philip constantly followed Christ, listening to his admonitions and beholding the miracles he performed to the service of the word of God, so that Christ ordained him an apostle and sent him out to preach the gospel in the first place to the scattered sheep of the house of Israel, which he also, like his fellow apostles, did. Matthew 10, 3, Luke 6, 13 to 15. The Lord esteemed him as one of his greatest friends, for at the glorious miracle of the feeding of 5,000, Christ, in order to prove him, counseled with him, saying, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? John 6, 5. He was also kindly instructed by the Lord when he asked to see the Father. For Christ said to him, Philip, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father, etc. John fourteen eight and 9. Once when certain Greeks wished to see Jesus and desired him to procure them access to the Lord, he came with Andrew and told it to the Lord, who answered, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. John twelve twenty to 23 This pious and godly apostle remained with the Lord even to his suffering, and after their dispersion, when Christ had arisen, he abode with his brethren until they, according to the promise of Christ, received the Holy Ghost after his ascension. Luke twenty four thirty two to 33 Acts 2, 4 After the distribution of the countries, he taught several years in Scythia, where he planted many churches, and since Syria and the upper part of Asia fell to his particular share, he laid the foundations of faith in many of these cities. Finally, he came to Phrygia and wrought several signs at Hierapolis. There, the Abianites, who not only denied the divinity of Christ, but also worshipped idols, continued obstinately in their blasphemous doctrines and idolatry, and did not listen to this pious apostle of Christ, but apprehended him, and having made his head fast to a pillar, stoned him. Whereupon death ensued, and he thus fell asleep in the Lord. His body was buried in the aforementioned city Herapolis.